So here are the prop blades and the spinners all ready to be painted. I just stuck the prop blades into a styrofoam piece. This is black. I think it's called black green. And so this is the color that seems to make the most sense for German propeller blades, Second World War, at least of this era, I think. So at least when I made them black before I had people yell at me. So um, apparently this is a color that's pretty close because they apparently were not typical black that I would consider prop blades to be a lot of the time. Um, but super simple procedure. Just hold these and spray them all. Make sure you get both sides and make sure you get the edges um, and just cover color them to that appropriate uh, shade. And not a hard job, <clears throat> pretty quick. Get them all completely finished and then uh, just stick them back in the styrofoam to dry. And uh, that was a that's a job that does not take long. As you're careful, you can just pop right back in, ready to go. So not bad at all. Now, here they are all painted, um, sitting there in the forest, and that's good. <clears throat> and now I'm going to paint the spinners. Now, I'm going to use black because I'm going to have these spinners be black and white. And what I'm going to do is spray... Uh, well, you'll see what I end up doing, but I spray the areas black around where the props go into place, so where the hubs are going to go. So you see, to put a back black blob on each of those places. That's because I'm going to. That's going to look like a cutout of the spinner when I'm done, at least on the white side of the of the model. Um, and along the base, there's also going to be a little line that you'll see on the white part that represents a little seam that goes around, I guess, the base plate or something on the spinner. And then I go ahead and paint the spinner, about half of it black. Um, later on, off camera, I ended up painting them completely black. Because when I went back and looked at my references, it's hard to figure out. I thought that the white and the black, like, they'd be 50-50, but they're not. The white is like a, just a little swash that comes out, like a little tiny arc. Uh, much smaller, it's not 50-50. So anyway, Put those on there but that's why those are all painted where they are um, and you'll see in the next little piece i masked off the black that i want to keep um and oh yeah look at that that's what happens when you don't wear gloves that's okay real modelers get full of paint so here they are masked and you can see i wasn't sure where i was gonna put my white yet but i put that little line and then each of the prop boss areas or the where the propellers go into the hub um, are going are are going to have left over this little um, little shape to approximate what it would look like. Now, of course, two of them are they're in the black. You won't be able to see them. Um, so, anyway, now what I did was I took a little piece of blue tack, rolled it, and then I put it around where I think the white's supposed to be, and then masked off a little extra tape because I don't want to get the black side painted. And then I went ahead and painted those little areas white. Um, you know, I take my word for it. I'm actually painting them. Um, yeah, no kidding. Boy, I need help. I need a camera that's close and can focus and get closer than what I can get with my little GoPro. Um, anyway, anybody have any ideas, let me know. Because I'm obviously not able to figure it out. Uh, anyway, the, the little... Um, um, snake of putty there i hope what it does is make give me a sort of a soft line in the end it wasn't a real soft line but we'll see i might go touch them up a little bit but i'm just making sure that little part is white and you can see that it's not 50 50 it's not just half the spinner and that's based on photographs and movies of the real airplane that i've seen um and so it'll it'll it looks really cool when it's done but again, I might go back and do a little touch-up. But I want you to see what it looks like when you take off the masks um, so you can get an idea of what's going to happen. So there they are, painted up. Not bad and easy to do. Here they are back um, on my <laughs> wife's lovely table. And I pull those pieces off. And it looks good until you look carefully. Um, there's definitely some overspray. Or the, the, the demarcation isn't that wonderful. But... I take these and peel off those little prop boss areas. And when you do that, 
it looks like it's supposed to be, like it's open. And of course it's fake, it's not really open. Now again, these, you didn't have to put the thing on because they're black on black. But I, again, when I did this, I thought I'm gonna mask everything because I didn't know where my white was gonna go exactly. I also was toying with doing a spiral, but every ME410 has spirals on their noses and I'm chicken to paint a spiral. So I did it this way. Um, but I pull this piece off and again, it looks pretty cool. Once I pull this little tiny skinny piece, you can see it leaves a little black line and that's just fake, but that's gonna make it look like that's an area that the spinner's connecting to some kind of plate on the, uh, on the um, spinner or between the spinner and, the, and the, the, the motor mount, I guess, the motor. So anyway, that's what they look like. And, um, you know, not too bad. Got them both done. Then I started putting in the prop blades. So I previously fit them in to test them, and they look pretty good. I mean, they're not absolutely most glorious things in the world. But again, what I'm doing here is just sticking them in to sort of look. I'm not, I'm not gluing in quite yet, although I did later. Um, as I glue them in, I just used use the white glue. But I'm putting them in, and you can see that green color next to the black looks pretty good. And you can also see where I might end up touching up a little. And I guess guys in the field, maybe it would have looked like that. Again, they're not going to be, they're not going to be perfect. But overall, pretty neat. And I couldn't help it; I had to stick them onto the in the cells. So I stuck them on with like pins just to see. They're just pinned onto; they're not finished, but just to see how they're going to look. And it gives the look I was I wanted to have. In other words, I did want the 50-50 or the or the, the, the the white and black, and the prop blades look good, and um, overall it just looks really cool. Um, it'll be fun to try to make them to make them spin. Uh, and here the prop blades are glued on, by the way, with my white glue. Um, but yeah, I, I have to say it's I, now I can't wait to get those dumb oleo struts on there because then I can put the props on and it really looks like a finished airplane. So um, not bad. I, uh, it's, it's every day it's getting a little closer. So tally ho.